Well, Chris, that's been a long evening. It ended being able to Chesham pretty much as the first match was abandoned at. Your thoughts on that evening? Um, well, I mean, we played when you're... Uh, listen, Leggy's been great for us. Um, we, we give him a goal, early doors, first couple of minutes, squirmed under Leggy and gone in. Um, and then you, you try and pick yourselves up. So that we kind of did for them for the next five minutes. They're going to send it off. Um, so when you, you work on a shape and you, and you, you choose that shape and talk to the players about that shape and you're one nil down from a mistake and then, and then, uh, and then a sending off after inside the first 10 minutes or eight minutes, whatever it was, you, you're in for a long night. And then obviously, um, they get their they get their second goal, which is uh, I mean I want to see it again, but it looked a foul from the bench. Um, all our players were saying it was a foul. And that's the reason why they were asking the referee a question. Um, he said to me at half time he, he he didn't want to talk to me at half time. He 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 just ran off, um, so he couldn't answer the question. So I'd like to see that again because. Um, it, it, it looks a foul from the bench and all the play, the play reaction tells you sometimes. And and yeah, anyway, we're 2-0 down. Uh, going to a second half, steady. Um, and then we get someone you know, another sending off after 65 minutes for exactly the same sort of tackle that he give a yellow four against them in the first half. So no consistency from him. Um, no complaints about result. Um, they were better than us. So I don't want to. I don't want to seem like I'm hiding behind re referees' decisions, um, but yeah, we just need a bit of consistency from them, and and I think it's across the board, um, we, we, in in all the non-league or, or or in the league that we we're noticing a lack of consistency. One player that I thought could hold the head head up high was uh, Jacob Bancroft because you know, he never stopped running, he never stopped trying to chase the ball down, he never. It didn't really leave anything much out on the field. So I suppose that's one positive point to take from this evening. Yeah, yeah. And his first start this season, first mm -hmm. time he's played this season. So for the work rate and the endeavour that he had, he put in um, bodes well for, for, for the future. Um, I said that to him as he come off. He, and he'll, sleep well, he'll sleep well tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He'll be stiff in the morning. Tonight, he'll, he'll be stiff in the morning. Um, so yeah, fantastic work rate. And he never give up. He chased everything up there. And it's difficult when when he ended up being the one up top on his own because we went down to nine men. So in, in, in it's what we had to do. So, yeah, um, fantastic endeavour and fantastic work rate from him. And, yeah, we, I'm looking forward to working with him. Looking to the future now on Saturday, we've got that long old journey down into the southwest of Plymouth. Um, thankfully, those suspensions from tonight won't kick in for Saturday. So I don't suspect you'll change a lot there to travel down there to Plymouth. Yeah, listen. We work on it. We we we've had uh, Plymouth watched. We work on we we work on a shape. We work on a plan for them. A training on Thursday, um, and yeah, we we go again. I just said to the boys in there um, for the first time. You know, in ever you'll see me come off and and not really grill anyone after the game after losing three nil, um, because I can't. Um, Cheshire are a quality side, a real, real good quality side that that we're going to be up there this season, and, and if if not winning it, they they're definitely be in the playoffs. So for us to play against them with nine men for twenty five minutes and ten men for eighty minutes, um, yeah, it's. Uh, I just said to the boys, we we dust ourselves down. Don't be too disappointed, and um, we uh, we go again on we go again on Saturday.